everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, we are going to look at some of Amoco's new glazes from 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos each week. So let's look at the two Saladon glazes that I ordered. So they have come up with a bunch of new Saladon glazes. I didn't get all of them because it's too expensive. So I only got two. So this one is called sandalwood. So it looks a little bit like an orangey color. It looks really beautiful. And then this one is called succulent. So it's a lighter green. Uh, it's more creamier than uh, wasabi. It looks like a creamer, creamier version of wasabi glaze. And I also ordered the Cosmo line. From the Cosmo line, they have a couple of glazes. I only ordered two bottles because they are extremely expensive. So I'm from Canada and each bottle cost me $52.95 before tax. So that's $52.95. It's really expensive okay. for a bottle of glaze. And this one is Mars Crystal. Has beautiful little crystals here, iridescent crystals. And then this one is Dark Star. I think it's a little bit like a black background with some crystals on top. So we are going to do some test house together now. So when the bottle comes with a lid and then after you open it, it comes with a seal so you can pull this but I always have trouble pulling it so I always use a knife to open the seal this is from the Cosmo Glaze the Mars Crystal so we're going to do test out for this one first and since this is the crystalline glazes they will run so I'm using a special test towel like this one here with a large uh, area on the bottom where the glaze will catch on to the bottom the bottle says i need to put on four coats so i have used my under glaze bottle to mark um, the coats on the side here which i will not be glazing so i'm not sure if you can see so this would be i'm gonna glaze the whole thing one coat then two then three and then four. I just want to see the difference uh, between the coats. So that's what I'll do on one side and on the other side, I'll just do all four coats. So that's what I'll do. Let's get started. So I have my fan brush. I'm going to stir a little bit. So it looks pretty thick. I'm not sure, let me move this. If you can see, it's really thick consistency. It's not a runny, watery consistency. So this Cosmo is part of the Crystalline Glaze. And it's the first time that Amoco has come out with Crystalline Glazes. So they are really expensive. Okay, so that's my first coat. That's what I outlined here and then I'll do the back so I won't do the side because I want to make sure it's still the markers are still visible after firing so that's the back okay so I'll leave this to dry and then I'll do the second coat so while we are waiting for it to dry let's open up the second bottle so the second bottle here is Dark Star, which is also the crystalline glaze. Let me just open this up. And since this is the crystalline glaze, I'm going to use the special long test tiles as well. So when I have any extra clay, I always just make them into test tile and bisque fire them and store them in a box. So whenever I need them, I could just use them. So. This is the Dark Star and let me just mix it around. So si similar consistency as the Mars Crystal. 
thicker consistency, not runny. Let's brush that on. Oh, first I need to put on the marker. So I'll show you how to do that. This is just black under glaze in a squeeze bottle. So I'm, well, I'm not going to do my line all the way to the bottom. I'm going to leave some room because I know it will run. So this is my first coat. Second coat. Third coat. And then the rest is four coat. Just like that. So because under glaze um, doesn't doesn't uh, fire off um, after glaze firing it'll just leave on and on the bottom I'm going to label this as dark star and the good thing with under glaze is that it doesn't stick onto the kiln, sh kiln shelf at least the one that I'm using doesn't stick onto the kiln shelf I know some do but this one doesn't so that's a good thing I always use it to label the bottom of my test tiles so that's one coat and for the other side I'm going to do all four coats the reason I do all four coats on this side is because um, when I flip it I can see I have a bigger tile to see what four coat looks like and how much it runs for four coats and this one doesn't have any texture on it okay so i'll leave this to dry while those two are drying let's do the celadon glazes so these are the 2023 new celadon glazes uh, let's try the sandalwood first I love Celadon glazes because it's very stable. It doesn't run at all. Uh, so I can glaze really close to the bottom without it running. I love using Celadon glazes uh, as a liner glaze and also on um, small decorative sculptural pieces that I need on, on the bottom because I know they won't run okay so i have the smaller test tile for the celadon glazes and i have a hole here because um, i have a test tile board so i can just hang this on my test tile board after firing and this is what my test tile looks like it has grooves to see what it will look like when they're grooves and i also label on the bottom with black under glazing sandal wood two times i also have a label here because I wanted to do two times all the way to the bottom and, and then I want to do three times on the top okay so that's one time like I said, I want two times here and three times here. Just so I can see the difference between brushing on two times versus brushing three times. And it already dried, so I can do my second coat. Okay, so I'll let this dry. So there's a second coat. So after the second coat dried, I'll only do the third coat from this line and upward and I'll show you later now let's move on to the last glaze that I have for today which is succulent this is a beautiful glaze I hope it looks as beautiful as the picture on the glaze bottle small test tile for succulent and also I have my marker this one is two times and three times the consistency is also very similar to the other glazes 
uh, thick, it's not runny, but it's very easily brushable. So, that's the first coat. Okay, so let's wait for this to dry. Now, let's take a look at our first test out. So this is the test out for Mars Crystal from the Crystalline Glaze. Uh, it has already dried, so let's do the second coat. So remember, this is first coat. So second coat, I'll start from here. And the back, I will just do all the four four coats. Okay, so now I'll wait for this to dry again. Same for this test tile for Dark Star. I'll start from here. That's where the two is. So I have finished painting all the test tiles according to my markers. Okay, so I painted all four test tiles. So next I am going to put some of the glazes on pots and pottery items and then fire them in the glaze fire and then I'll show you the results. Alright, so I finished glaze firing. This is the sandalwood this is what the color looks like on the bottle and this is the item that i have on the hair of the unicorn that sandalwood it looks very similar to the color on the bottle so it's very saturated it's not as bright of an orange as i thought it would be it's actually quite beautiful i have another example here this cat here, it's actually I put on clear glaze and then I put on the sandalwood for the spots. So that's why the spots are not as saturated as the unicorn. So next time I will just put sandalwood along, which looks more beautiful. So I really like sandalwood. The next one we have is succulent. So this is what the bottle looks like and this is what succulent looks like. It looks very close to the bottle. It's lighter in color than this one. But then again, I only put on brush on two coats on the hair. So that maybe that's why it's lighter in color. And I used M370 Platinum Clay, which is a very smooth um, white stoneware. And I fired to cone six. So that's what it looks like. All right, everyone, time for the most exciting part, which is looking at our test tile. So looking at these two, which is the new Celadon glazes that I, ha I have. This is succulent, brush on two times, and this is sandalwood, brush on two times. Both look really good. So looking at the marker here, this part is two times, that's three times brushed on. I don't think I see much of a difference. And that's two times and three times for this one. So both looks really nice. I love the colors. Now let's move on to our crystalline glazes. These two are the Cosmo line Mars crystals. So I'm not sure if you can see the iridescent color here. This crystal is beautiful. Um, according to Amaco, that you cannot put any liner glaze on the back. That's why I did two test tiles. This one has glaze on both the front and the back. As you can see, um, I had the marker here. So I glazed all the way to here and it ran this much here. So this is definitely a runner. And this test tile, I did not glaze on one side and only on this the front side uh, to compare this one it doesn't have as many crystal as i have hoped 
looking at the marker this is one coat two coat three coats and four coats uh, as instructed by the Amico to have four heavy coats I don't see crystals on this one but this one um, I see this big giant beautiful crystal on one side but not on the other side so I guess it's really up to chance whether you have crystal or not I also put on a little vase as well uh, just to see so this is the Mars crystal on a little vase the reason I want to put it on a vase is because I want to see how it runs and not just on a test tile so I did not have any catcher for this vase because I know it will not run because of the shape of the foot I in my in my past experience I know with runner as long as I have a foot similar to this and don't glaze here the glaze should all just catch on here and that's what happened so I have one coat all along here and then and then two three and then four here and that's how much it ran you can see the running here these are the drips I don't see like the big crystal I was looking for in this one here uh, as more of the smaller crystals like these guys here like the ancient copper crystals that I get so I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get the big giant crystal for the uh, for the Mars crystal so now let's take a look at the dark star which is my favorite so these are the test tile this one is front and back as you can see there is a blister on this one for the front and back but you see the beautiful crystals on both front and back for this one uh, it doesn't have any blisters because I didn't glaze on the back side it does have crystals and I also put it on a vase and a dish so on the vase I did one coat and white back as you can see the white back here and these are the not white back just the one coat same thing with the foot here did not glaze the foot so the glaze will collect it here and then so I have one coat two three four and nothing was glazed it was unglazed in the inside you can see lots of beautiful crystals no blisters I think I want to do another test with glaze inside and same thing and see if I'll get any blisters so here's a beautiful plate with lots of crystals and unglaze on the back so I know it's not food safe so this will only be decorative so all my clay are from Platzman M370 which is a really smooth white stoneware and fired with Kong 6 uh, Camille Hoffman Kong 6 firing schedules and that's the result I got so yeah I really like the result especially the dark star a little bit disappointed on the Mars crystal I love the new Celadon glazes so that's it for today uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any comments or questions or if you want me to do any reviews on any other glazes. So thank you everyone for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.